back to another craft reunion with Mandy. Summer is upon us and it is hot. So I'm sitting outside and I have a craft for you that will get you outdoors and get you moving and I think it um, is really fun. Again, as the theme with all of our crafts, it only uses a couple of household ingredients. Um, so let's see what we have in store for us today. Today we're making giant bubbles. And to make giant bubbles, here's what you'll need. Dish soap. I'm using ultra concentrated dish soap. Glycerin, which you can get at any drugstore. Cornstarch. Water. And then some tools to make your bubble wand with. I just have two skewers with paper clips attached to them and some string. Let's see how it goes. Your first ingredient is going to be dish soap. You'll want two cups of dish soap. It's a lot of dish soap, but we want big bubbles, so we need a lot of liquid. So I'm gonna do two of these. Into my pan goes my second cup of dish soap. To this mixture, you're going to add two tablespoons of cornstarch and four tablespoons of glycerin. So I'm going to add that to my pan as well. In goes my last tablespoon of glycerin. So this is two cups of dish soap, two tablespoons of cornstarch, and four tablespoons of glycerin. To this we need to add a half a gallon of water, which is eight cups of water, which I have measured out here in this jug. I haven't mixed up any of my um, ingredients just yet, but I'm going to add eight cups of water very gently. And this container is very full. So I don't think I'll be able to move it after I um, give it a mix. So with a spoon, you just want to give it a gentle mix. You don't want to create too many bubbles. The cornstarch might be a little bit clumpy, um, but just kind of gently mix it into the rest of the ingredients, like so. Now a lot of people who have made giant bubble mixture um, say that it works best if you just leave it overnight. So. When you have a hankering for playing with bubbles, um, you can mix this up the night before and let it just hang out for a night. I'm gonna try it now. I'm gonna let it sit for probably 20 minutes while I get my bubble wand set up. Um, so it might not work as well for me as it might for you if you let it just chill out overnight. I just wanna show you quickly how I made my bubble wand. I just have a long piece of cotton string. I have two barbecue skewers that I dangled two uh, paper clips from. I put my string through it and tied it in a knot at the end with another paper clip just to give it some weight. So basically I have this contraption that you can kind of open up like this. And whatever tools you have at home, I'm sure you'll come up with something that works pretty well for this. All right, let's give it a whirl, see what we can get. So you take your sticks and you give it a good dip. You lift it up and the way to get your bubble surface is you slowly open. You can see my bubble is kind of already starting to come out because it's windy. Oh, that one popped. That's all right. try. Um, I'm gonna leave this overnight and um, see if that helps the strength of the bubbles. Anyway, thanks for joining us for another craft afternoon with Mandy. Hopefully you get to get outside and enjoy some sunshine and some giant bubbles um, and we'll see you again real soon. Bye!